Metropolitan Airport and the major airports in Vancouver, Calgary and Montreal will be allowed to accept passengers from international locations. Travelers will need a negative COVID test before they board at their origin and then get another mandatory test upon arrival. Travelers will then have to wait for up to three days at an approved hotel for their test results at their own expense, which is expected to be more than $2,000. Those with negative test results will then be able to quarantine at home under significantly increased surveillance and enforcement. Travelers testing positive go to a government quarantine facility for two weeks. Ontario's Premier says the mandatory airport traveler PCR test will begin Monday at noon. Anyone refusing gets a $750 ticket. Through our voluntary airport testing pilot program, we've already identified five variant cases. These are five cases that could have otherwise gone unnoticed. Five cases that could have infected others. Furthermore, Air Canada, WestJet, Sunwing and Air Transat have cancelled all flights to the Caribbean and Mexico until the end of April. We all agree that now is just not the time to be flying. The Prime Minister says he's still in talks with airlines about what sort of compensation they'll get for basically cancelling their spring break season. He says it will be important that Canada still has a competitive airline industry after the pandemic because when it's safe to do so, Canadians will want to travel again. We might as well just have taken out the keys from the ignition of the aviation and travel industry and thrown them away for six months. Airline industry consultant Robert Kokonis notes the Prime Minister admits less than 2% of COVID cases have come from international travellers. And he says these measures are cutting Canada off from the world. He has just had to cancel two business trips due to the extra expenses announced today. I'm afraid with today's news, we're going to see for sure, some players go into what we call bankruptcy restructuring, um, and, and from that, we may see some players not return. Huge deterrent, and, you know, um, like I said, I don't have anybody booked. I don't have anybody in destination. I had people musing about possibly going away, and this, I believe, is going to put a complete stop to anybody who is even remotely entertaining the idea. Travel agent Christiane Cormier says she is still dreaming of a fall getaway as long as she gets a free cancellation policy like many tourism operators now offer. Lisa Hefner, CHCH News.